Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. We are heading toward apparently Kalthos' lair. I'm not sure about that though. <coughs> apparently it's maybe here. And we're gonna find out why the hell did he attack the citizens. Kaltalis' lair was indeed yep. impossible to miss. As would stand to reason, for any space capable of containing a dragon must be enormous. The lair's moor, a black triangle cut out of a vast plain of snow, loomed from afar. Confirming the dragon's presence was the powerful odor emanating from it. One of sulfur and blood. Well then, Gascon said. Ready to become a legendary dragon slayer? Hell yeah! Let's go. My father off said, never should you count pelts till the hunt is through. Meave said, dismounting her horse. It's all the more true when you hunt dragons. He's wounded, yes, but one puff of flame and we shall be not legends but corpses. Leave all thoughts of foolhardy bravery behind. The Lyrians crept across the dragon's threshold. What? They walked single file, shields raised, watched by bats hanging from the ceiling. Keltalis lay curled up on a bed of diamonds and gold coins turned red from his blood. Seeing how he strained merely to lift his massive head, Meave knew the dragon no longer posed any threat. Well, he did manage to fly to his cave, so... Come to finish? What your poison began? The monster croaked hoarsely. Fine. Do it then. Keltalis turned over, exposing his vulnerable underbelly, and waited calmly for the fatal blow. What? Who poisoned you? Well, I just talked to you because it seems like we might might as well. Wait, Meave said, dropping her sword. What poison? <laughs> Keltalis laughed while squeezing his bleeding side in pain. So they didn't tell you, lousy munchkins. <sighs> hey, watch your tongue! Gabor yelled. Say it. I didn't care anything about it. Keltalis looked the Lyrians over mistrustfully with his snake-like eyes, then began to tell his tale. The caravan Meave had met on the road was different to the others. This time, Keltalis's meat had been pickled in a special brine, one spiked with poison. As the dragon lay curled up in pain, Ferenc dwarves entered his lair and smashed his eggs. So if I understand correctly... Meave interrupted. You're female. Correct. Same as you. Um, you know, I'm not a dragon, though. As if on command, all Lyrian eyes turned to Gabor. Can you look at me? With a peek under his uh, heart, uh, its tail. If I may, Reynard interjected. These revelations about Keltalus' sex are undeniably fascinating. But I'm more curious why the Ferences stooped to such a dishonorable deed. That's easy enough to guess, Meave said. They were afraid the dragon would soon demand more tribute to feed its young. So they decided to strike preemptively. Hmm? Okay. To the Ferences' misfortune, they delivered two smaller dose of poison. Infuriated at the sight of the broken eggs, the dragon gathered its strength and flew to the nearest town. Meave saw for herself what happened then. And now it was up to her to decide how this story would end. The dragon had killed dozens, perhaps even hundreds, but had been provoked first by the dwarves' heartless cruelty. Did it thus deserve death or mercy? Let Kaltalus heal and leave Mahakam. Yeah, but why not do that in the first place? And the thing is, your deal with the dwarves is not that sweet. Because you're basically, you're just extorting them for tributes. And quite a lot, because what you're demanding is quite a bit. Well, obviously, the dragon needs a lot of stuff, and also you're sleeping on gold and ruby that you obviously do not need. 
you just have that because so let's let's recap you were extorting the dwarves for 300 years at least and uh, then you had some eggs and they poisoned you and smashed it because they were well we don't know exactly why but uh, it seems pretty obvious I think killing you, you still proved yourself to be a threat, even if you go away, like... I understand that you were... you had this deal with the dwarves, but still... I understand, like, come on. Yeah, Kaltalis was fairly... friendly. I am... I am... If I knew Kaltalis a little bit more, I would be more... Uh... Leaning toward, let Keltalis heal and leave to Hakam. But I think this is just too dangerous. At at the very least, you know, you didn't really you know what what really what really uh But what is the biggest problem here? It, you know, if you like you you were poisoned by the Ferenc clan and you know that if you just sought out the big weak Ferenc guy and you kill them, I would say let you go. You know? You didn't that's not what you did. You didn't look for those who are responsible and you punished them. You just assumed that everyone was in on it. You just killed anyone you could find. So I think the kill is the only way to go. I understand your pain, Meave said. But nothing can justify the massacre you wrought. Nothing? And what would you have done in my place? Sorry I would have killed you. those who are responsible. Can a letter of complaint to Elder and Chief Oak? They killed my children? <laughs> I'd have done the same, the Queen replied, not hesitating a moment. I'd have sought revenge. Knowing what punishment I'd earn. The monster looked Meave in the eyes a long while, then dropped its head. I have no more strength to fight. I have no more reason to fight. Do as you see fit. Now we're killing you. Raised her sword high and swept it down with enormous strength, cutting the scaled belly in twain. The monster bellowed out a long roar and writhed its tail, scattering diamonds everywhere. Then grew still. Keltalis, the last red dragon between the great sea and the fiery mountains, had breathed his last. There followed a strange silence. No one cheered, no one clapped. That was... Gascon said, the first to break the silence. Not terribly epic. What'd you expect? Gabor said, arms akimbo. Fanfare and fireworks? The mountain to quake? He up and died. What else would he do? I am certain, Your Grace, Reynard said, that the poets will endow this moment with the appropriate splendor. I'm oh. sure they will. The Queen said, sheathing her sword. For they are liars. <laughs> oh, we got Keltolis trophy. Uh, okay. The queen told her soldiers to gather a part of the dragon's treasure. Small enough not to bring down the wrath of Bruva Hoog, but large enough to fully compensate the Lyrian's losses. And Meave gained the title of Dragon Slayer, though she rarely made much mention of it. Hmm. And what is this new stuff we found? This dragon trophy. Nothing is as good as the one stuff I have. Workshop. No, 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 that's not. Still, the Lyrian banner is the best. Again, reduce my cooldown by one. So damn good. Every three turns. So it's kind of like a, a fire, permanent fire on the melee row. Uh, not terrible, but it's not amazing either. So. Again, I don't care too much about it. It's not bad, but again. Being able to use my loyal abilities uh, a little bit more often, I think that matters a lot. Leader ability, whatever. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
Don't you guys want to talk to me? Then I killed the dragon. Nope. Apparently. <laughs> oh my god, I have so much gold. In the previous area, like, I, I get it, like, kind of this much gold, but I, I spent all my gold at the start. And now we journeyed, like, this much, but we managed to find more gold than I found in the previous area combined. So, that's kind of cool. Ideas. Lang scout. A uh, lens that makes an object appear more distant. Spoot scope. A subterranean periscope used in potato cultivation. Double gaff, two sided fork. I heard enough. I'm totally sold. Where is this genius who thought of all of these? What are you guys doing? Drunken bluff? <laughs> what? Uh, what? We've squinted, the better to see the scene. Several dozen dwarves had gathered on the cliff overlooking the chasm. All were turned towards a ramp, at the peak of which stood a barrel. What is that gathering about? Asked the queen. Have we a feast day? Nay, answered Gabor grimly. It is an execution. Oh my god. Death by barrel roll. Um. A hairy head peeked out of the barrel. The long, pointy nose and ears left no doubt that it belonged to a gnome. The first Meave had ever seen in her life. Help! Save me! The gnome yelled. They aim to kill me! Cast me in the chasm! Shut your maw! Barked the dwarf standing next to him, who then shoved the gnome inside the barrel and covered it with a lid. Your crimes! The sheer weight of him, hey! No lighter punishment is fitting! The other gathered dwarves nodded approvingly. Two gripped the barrel, lay it on its side, then lifted it to cast in the chasm, paying the thumping from inside it no heed. Um... I just... I just want to know more. Meave leapt from her horse, and ignoring Gabor's objections, scrambled up the ramp. Oi! You're not allowed! Hey, damn it! What do you think you're doing? I love the eye. I think it's obvious. Preventing the execution. Ah! Ah! Thanks be to the gods! Whoa, wench, you have no such right. Judgment's been handed down. Sentencing's done. Yes, and a cruel sentence it is. One that prompts me to wonder what the accused did to deserve it. I just want a pet gnome, okay? <laughs> Better to ask what he didn't he do, the varmint. Arrived here with his peddler's wagon full of tricks and gadgets. Went from house to house, praised his rubbish to the high heavens, and what's it he sold us? Bombs that go off in your hand. Beard growth formula that makes your hair catch fire. Music boxes for the kiddies. Once cranked, they never plow in stop. <gasps> you needed but to loosen the screw in the back and... Shut your maw, ye roaster. Doesn't it matter all that? Cause we'd have forgiven it if he hadn't broken our sacred rules and hallowed customs. Like? Which ones? If you don't mind me asking. Enter the smithy. Cap on his head. Held nails between his teeth. And poured fruit syrup in his beer. Raspberry. <laughs> what? Um. Just the ones and but a few drops. You got nothing to explain your villainy, scoundrel. Not a thing. And that's not even the worst. Saved his highest crime for the end. He was in a mine. And he whistled. Ooh. Oh, aye, that's bad. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> what? Hi. He did, whistled, through his teeth, and hummed in harmony, a, a long warble. We all heard it up and down the shaft, and our grand elders were clear. Death's the punishment. Death by barrel roll. Yeah, I mean, 
I can take him off your hands and, you know, we can use him. How about death on the battlefield? So this slimy guy actually dies with honor. I think I can sell you on that one. Can I, may I buy his freedom? Your land, your laws, I shall not argue with them. But perhaps there is another way. Can a bail be posted? Hmm. Well, the law does allow for something of the sort. But I don't see how that job is worth it. Oh, I. He is. He is. <laughs> Willing I am to take him at his word. Does that suffice? Aye. But just so as we're clear. <laughs> No returns, no refunds. <laughs> now get the hell out of that barrel, you wee shite. <laughs> oh, man. My lady, I haven't a way to thank you. Bro, oh, you have a way. You're gonna serve me. I want a pet gnome. That we've yet to discuss. Perhaps first we should learn each other's names? Um... Ah, yes, uh, of course, oh, what a prat of me. Uh, Barnabas, uh, Barnabas Beckenbauer. Uh, to friends, Bibi. Bibi? Ah. Meave, Queen of Lyria and Rivia. A co queen? Cows in the corn, color me on it. Uh, your Majesty, obeisance due. None necessary. Protocols for use at court, not beyond it. An inventor you deem yourself. Am I right? Most assuredly. Though, truth be told, the dwarves saw no ingenuity in my craft. <laughs> Seems I'm ahead of my time. You just, your, your, your stuff might be just crap. Fiery bursts in the palm of your hand. They shall be in fashion one day to your mind. Oh, nay, nay, just a bit of misfortune, that's all that was. Y you see, I mistook mercury fulminate for saltpeter. The vials stood beside each other, see, and... The details I need not know, but one matter I am curious about. Could you construct a bomb that would explode when desired? For instance, beneath my foe's feet as they stepped over it? Well, of course I can! It's as simple. Why then? You wish to show your gratitude? You must join my ranks. Assist me to defeat Nilfgaard. <laughs> oh my god, your choice of words. You must join my ranks. Defeat Nilfgaard. <sighs> Pure ambition, that is. But I'd have been a barrel of broken bones at the bottom of a ravine if not for you. I'll do what you ask to pay off my debt. Okay. And thus, for the first time in Lyrian annals, a gnome enlisted with the army. And though Barnabas Beckenbauer was diminutive of body, this new recruit would prove his worth on more than one occasion. Well, we'll see about that. I just wanted a pet gnome. And if he's gonna turn out to be a useful addition to my team, that's just gonna be a bonus. That's not what I'm looking for. Great, a trinket? Oh no. That's probably not good. RNG into a trinket. Oh. I suppose saving him didn't really worth it. Five hundred gold. Year, more monsters crawl out for spring cleaning. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm on it. Come on, taking your barrels. The blizzard's blowing in. Your grace, perhaps we'd best pitch camp and wait for clear weather. Tain't a bad idea. Said we might be waiting a week. <laughs> yeah, this is Mahakam. Alright, let's just take out some lizard. Standard battle. Alright. Death from above.
Maybe like that. Wait, what? If he has no ways to generate cards, he's gonna be in trouble. Willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Damn, I just wait. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to. Ah! I can set the back room fire. Three lowest allies. This could hurt. Ooh. What happens? <laughs> oh. The game was like, what the fuck now? I'm gonna keep playing again and again and again. Maybe. I think I need to play another card. Maybe it should be a regiment drummer. Army's a waste of time for one. Not sure if you want to get out the unit. You can just wait. They pass. You gotta play another unit next turn. <clears throat> it's a standard battle. We don't have redraws. Okay. Play a slinger. Oh, Gascon is getting strong. But all the movement. Pass. Oh. Okay. Consume the lowest use on the on the battlefield. Fine. Bye. had this fight before. Wouldn't be too hard. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Cabri's only a well, sixteen now, but yeah, fifteen. Left, right. Left, right. I need the royal decree at the drummers. Thing. Oh, actually, I don't Watch have a choice. Your heads. <laughs> get two randoms. It's not too late to walk away. I can wait. Oh, the allies get consumed. All right. Yeah, I can't really win this by the looks of it.
Braves of Spala. I bit the white of an eye from half a league away. Okay. We can heal for quite a bit. But recharging this doesn't really matter. Oh, we can we can recharge it. Oh my god. Just other allies. Something has to go back. Do I need to still play a card? Gascon. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Oh my god. They're taking so much damage. We gotta play this Slinger. And Xavier. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Still pretty good. Isabel healer. Oh, he actually does get a lot of points. Oh, we can throw these guys in the back. But maybe before we do that. We drop Savvy. And the thing is, when we play Odo, we're gonna get these two playing. Yeah, they, they might actually play out all the units, so. As ordered. Just make these ah! go back. Something like that. I gotta use up this charge. What? Sure. Oh. Guess not the best. So this is only a 15. Turn. Company! Forward march! We got some dudes. Thing about slings, they hide well. Army's a waste of time. This is all we got. Mind. Everything in the deck. Actually, oh well, Gabor is. That's gonna go with something else. Can we just kill those? Consume free lowest. No, I crack some eggs. He seemed to have a pretty decent lead. Oh, that was a pretty big hit. Gascom forty five. Okay. Uh, we can just uh. Put this in the back. You sure about that? We can kill that and that. There you go. <laughs> what is the standard battle? Oh, a lacerate. Oh my god, damage everything by five? It's not even bad. And 37 points. <clears throat> it seems okay for a standard battle. Gascon is a 46. But why can't I pass? Let me pass. So just dumb. So just the dumb dragon over here. Um, I think it was a dragon. Okay. 
guess we're heading down. Oh. Cave entrance? Point of interest. What could be inside? Tune in next time to find out. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.